Hello, this is a video about the Civil War. It includes slavery, the North and South's geographical differences, what happened after the war, and so much more. We make connections to our central question. In what ways is conflict between the North and the South like a rivalry between siblings or feuding neighbors? The first connection I made was to slavery. When an older sibling bosses the younger sibling around and your parents don't care or don't pay attention, it reminds me of slavery. This is because the slave owners could also abuse their fellow slaves and nobody paid attention. They could make their slaves work and get things for them while the owner just sits back and relaxes. Just like the older, bro older sibling might make the younger sibling clean his or her room and get food while the younger sibling just sits back and while the older sibling just sits back and relaxes. My second connection is to the North and South geographical differences. The North had fast and shallow rivers that were hard to navigate on. The South had slow and deep moving rivers. They were easy to navigate. The South had very fertile soil that was good for farming. The North had less open space. This is like two neighbors fighting over who gets more of the better soil. South land was the South's land was good for farming, so they didn't want the, uh, any tariffs on imports. The North the North wanted a lot of tariffs for their manufacturing. Our third connection is to the North and South fighting over the slave states and free states. An example of this would be the Missouri Compromise. They made Maine a free state and Missouri a slave state. Another example is the Compromise of 1850. Five major things happened. One, California entered the Union as a free state. Two, it divided the rest of the Mexican secession into New Mexico and Utah. This reminds me of an only child when another child is born and the older sibling has to share a room. Three, it banned slave trade to Washington, D.C. Four, it included the Fugitive Slave Law. This is like a brother t taking some of your things and your parents say it's okay. Five, lastly, it's settled border dispute between Mex New Mexico and Mexico. This reminds me of neighbors fighting over the borderline between their property. After the war ended, the North got all the things it wanted. The South had to join the Union again, and slavery was banned. This reminds me of the two neighbors who were fighting over who get gets to keep more property with fertile soil, and the one neighbor wins. That neighbor... Who wanting gets the neighbor who gets the better soil and more property like the north and the, is happy and the other neighbor gets only a little bit of property like the south and is unhappy. Finally, because of the war, it kept the union together and ended secession and slavery completely in the United States. The Civil War was the turning point in America.